Ukrainian FPV drone strike obliterates tank and Russian soldiers in frontline Robotai. Fighting has intensified along Ukraine's southern front with Kyiv's forces reportedly breaking through some Russian defenses in Zaporizhia, and new footage shows the fiery destruction of a Russian tank near the front line. Combat footage from Ukraine has emerged which shows the fiery destruction of a Russian tank with the explosion sending its main gun flying. The unverified video shared on social media purports to show members of Ukraine's 65th Brigade targeting the tank with a first-person view drone. The short clip shows a stationary tank which detonates in a massive explosion sending its turret flying into the air trailing smoke. The 65th Brigade is fighting on the Zaporizhia front where Ukraine has captured the village of Robotine and is exploiting a potential breakthrough there. Fighting in the area has seen both sides lose huge amounts of vehicles and suffer heavy casualties. However, Ukraine now appears to have gained momentum. Tanks traps, trenches and thousands of mines have hampered Ukraine's forward progress in the region, but a breakthrough appears underway. After weeks of mine clearing and heavy fighting, Kyiv's forces have breached Russia's main defense, according to Brig General Alexander Tarnavsky. Following the capture of Robotine, the top Ukrainian general told the observer that his forces were now between the first and second defensive lines. He estimated that Russia committed 60% of its defensive efforts to the first line of defense, and a breakthrough would be crucial for Ukraine as its troops push towards the Black Sea. Ukraine's forces were reportedly attempting to widen the breach at Robotine by attacking east-southeast of the village towards Verbov where they have reportedly made advances. Geolocated footage published on September 7 indicates that Ukrainian forces have made further advances northwest of Verbov, 18 kilometers southwest of Orkiv, in western Zaporizhia Oblast, the Institute for the Study of War said in an update. The think tank covering the Ukraine war added that geolocated footage from the area a day earlier showed burning foliage in a tree line roughly a kilometer northwest of Verbov suggesting that Russian forces are firing on advancing Ukrainian forces in the area. Although there is a long way to go, Ukraine's advancement on this axis puts it one step closer towards its goal of reaching the Black Sea and splitting Russian forces in the country in half. While the horrifying moment Russian soldiers were wiped out by a Ukrainian mortar strike has been captured on camera. Two Russians are seen running across a field in plain sight before encountering a mortar round. It is unclear exactly where the footage, widely shared on social forum Reddit, was captured but the soldiers are sighted running through a field. Soon after, a massive explosion erupts after a mortar strike. Such incidents are increasingly common with Ukraine's counteroffensive in full swing a new phase in the war. Russia's assault on Ukraine is also at another turning point after it emerged that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will travel to meet Vladimir Putin. The two leaders are reportedly set to discuss Pyongyang supplying weapons to Russia as its long battle with Kyiv rumbles on. On the other hand, units of crack Ukrainian snipers are causing chaos for Russian troops, one bullet at a time. The role of the Devils and Angels, an elite group of sharpshooters consisting of both men and women is to create disorganization in the Russian military. Members of the group are attached to other units, such as units within the 47th Brigade in Zaporizhia to the east of Ukraine or units of the 115th Mechanized Brigade. Units of crack snipers they have to fit a certain psychological profile for the cold-blooded role, which sees them go on brave reconnaissance missions into no man's land, and send Russian units into disarray by picking off commanding officers. The Russian army needs officers to lead its units because it doesn't have any non-commissioned officers or troops who rose up the ranks to leadership positions. 
The officers can be spotted from a great distance because of their distinct uniforms and boots. Back in November, Ukrainian armed forces said one of their snipers was able to kill a Russian soldier at a record-breaking distance of 8,900 feet. But speaking to reporters in a new rare public appearance, one Ukrainian sniper attached to the 115th said just being able to shoot a sniper isn't enough to qualify for the group. He added you have to be calm in the midst of chaos, something that's difficult to learn in a training camp. Snipers generally operate in pairs, with one acting as a spotter, measuring things like distance, wind speed, and other factors that can influence a shot. When fighting into the night, one sleeps and the other one watches. In the Ukraine war, trips to no man's land can last over a week although they are usually about a day and a half. During this time, the snipers are isolated from the units they're embedded with. Another female sniper, given the call name Cuckoo, told the Wall Street Journal she once spent three days lying in wait she said, Helicopters are firing. Artillery is hitting your lines. Russians that were hiding just minutes before are suddenly...